Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a tutorial on this holiday cranberry smoky eye. I love cranberry shades in the fall and winter, but especially around the holidays, and I love it with the outfit that I'm wearing. I'm wearing a light pink duster coat from Fashion Nova, a little mini black dress also from Fashion Nova, and this choker from Bougie Diaries. If you want to see how you can achieve this look, then just keep on watching. To start with this look, I'm going to be taking my ABH Brow Wiz in dark brown and filling in my eyebrows as always. Now that my brows are all filled in, I'm going to be cleaning them up and priming my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now I'm going to be moving on to my face. I'm going to start by priming using the Smashbox Primer Water. I'm going to be going in with my favorite foundation at the moment, the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, and mine's in the shade Porcelain. Blend all this foundation out. I'm going to be taking my Black Beauty Blender. For concealer, I just use the same Tarte Shape Tape that I cleaned up my brows with, and to blend it out, I'm going to be using the same Black Beauty Blender. To set my foundation and concealer, I'm going to be going in with my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder on my Black Beauty Blender and Dose of Colors Powder Brush. Now I'm going to be going with my favorite bronzer. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion 25i. And to apply my bronzer, I'm going to be taking my Morphe M527 brush. On tour, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek Infidelity and Bad Habit mixed together on my Morphe M523 brush. To plant my contour, I'm going to be going with more loose translucent powder and baking. Now I'm going to be contouring my nose and I'm going to be using my Dose of Colors shader brush and the same two shades I used to contour my cheekbones. Now I'm going to be taking my Dose of Colors powder brush again just to brush off all my bake. For blush, I'm going to be using one of the new products from the Mac and Mariah Carey collection. This is the blush in Sweet Sweet Fantasy. The brush I'm going to be using to apply my blush is the Morphe E4 brush. To highlight my face, I'm going to start by taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm going to be taking Tarte's new Skin Twinkle Volume 2 palette to highlight. I'm going to be using these last two shades. I just got this today on PR and it is so pretty. I can't wait to try it. The brush I'm going to be using to highlight as always is the Morphe M510 brush. Before I move on to my eyes, I'm just going to be setting my brows using my ABH Clear Brow Gel. I'm going to start off my eyes by taking my Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette and taking Beaches and Cream just to set my lid and prepare it for the rest of my shadows. Now I'm going to be going with Sora as my transition shade on my Morphe M433 brush. The next shade I'm going to be going in with is Mars and I'm just going to continue using my Morphe M433 brush. To blend that in, I'm going to be taking my Sigma E40 brush with just a little bit of Sora on it. The last shade I'm going to be taking from this palette is Aphrodite. I'm going to be using my MAC 242 brush, but first I'm going to put a little bit of translucent powder under my eyes just to brush away any fallout. To blend and define my crease a little bit more, I'm going to be taking my Big Z palette and using Bitten by Makeup Geek. What I'm going to be using for this is my Morphe E18 brush. Now I'm going to be going in with my Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to be taking Champagne Pop on my brow bone and inner corner. The brush I'm going to be using for my brow bone is my Sigma E70 brush. Now I'm going to be going in with my favorite black eyeliner. This is the Art and Sand Modster Liner. Now I'm going to be going in with my favorite lashes. These are by Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. 
Now to finish off my eyes, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. To finish off this look, I'm going to be taking my Kylie Liquid Lipstick in Malibu. And this is the final look. I love doing smoky eyes any time of year, but I think they're very convenient for the holidays because they look really pretty, but they're really easy to achieve and don't take as much time as doing a look with liner would. Before you leave this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my next holiday tutorial, which will include liner because I know not everybody enjoys the no liner look. So if you want to see that, make sure you have my notifications turned on and I will see you in my next video. Bye!